Hello everybody and welcome to Watch Me Go Broke. Now welcome today to an unboxing of the C Stern 62 Moss homage on a bracelet. I don't know if anyone has shown this yet on a bracelet on YouTube. If they have, I haven't seen it, uh, searching it, haven't found it. This might be the first one. So I have no idea what to expect. So let's get to it. Right here. I do have scissors today, uh, fuchsia scissors to get this job done a little bit easier. Okay, what do we have in here? Okay, so on the package here, 62 Moss red bracelet loom. This also has a loomed, uh, completely loomed uh, bezel insert, which is really, really rad. Okay. All right, so this is the standard packaging that comes with the Seasterns. It also, like San Martin, stuff like that, uh, a lot of companies use this. I love these things. You can put cigars in it, put whatever you want in it. Actually, just whatever you want there. Uh, and they are pretty good. So let's see what we got here. Okay, the watch on top. Let me put that aside just briefly here. All right, so you got the instruction booklet. This is pretty much the same as uh, what came in the uh, the Doxa homage there. And then you've got the, ah, uh, yes, the Internetal Warranty. Boy, they got to fire the printer. This is the second one I've got that says that. So fire the printer, fire. Okay, so no tools or anything. I think the bracelet is screw pins, so I'm going to have to find a screwdriver somewhere in my domicile so here we go okay so i got the red fume dial uh version and the bracelet here wow wow that is very small see that's what attracted me to this watch was the size it's a 37 millimeter case i think the bezel actually uh overhangs just slightly so it, it really is a 38 millimeter case but hmm looking cool but my test I always do, let's give her a little shake, see if she starts up. Yes, she does. Okay, so we are in good shape there so far. So let me get these stickers peeled off. My least favorite part of anything to do with watches. So, oh boy. Oh, okay. That came off pretty easy. Or not. I don't know. I'll probably fast forward this because... It's kind of hard for me to see. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right, I got part of it there. All right. Okay, basically, okay, here we go, here we go, there we go. Now I'm cooking with some gas here. Boy, that dial really is beautiful. The pictures do not do it justice at all. Boy, let me zoom in on that here. Yeah, pictures do not do this justice. And even on video, this is a very, very nice dial. Very nice dial. Okay, let me check. Let me check before I get all this stuff uh, undone. Let me, let me check the bezel action here hair the bezel action which on my uh san martin 62 moss is not great it's really tight so let's see this one. Oh, that's great wow that is really lovely really lovely wow it plasticky sound it's a little bit of a little bit of a plastic sound let's see if everything lines up it does wow really great job of the bezel there Okay, go ahead and check the functions of the watch. So you got hand winding. This is an NH35. They're still using NH35s in this. This is a version two of this watch. And uh, those are getting harder and harder to come by uh, just from the simple fact of uh, the, the pandemic kind of shut down some of the factories or, or there was some difficulty. And so they're, they're harder and harder to come by. So if you can get... Uh, any watch, really, at this point, with an NH35, I would jump on it. All right, checking the functions. So, pretty much your standard NH35. Let's see if the date changes right at 12. And it 
pretty close. That's pretty close. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Push her in. One click out. Change the date. This does have a loomed date wheel in addition to a supposedly fully loomed ceramic uh, bezel insert. I guess I can sort of check that, even though this has been in the dark forever. Uh, mm, uh, it's supposed to be a fully loomed uh, ceramic bezel, and it does not appear to be the case. But again, I had the same problem with the, uh, the date wheel not being loomed on the other one, and it was. So I guess I just got to expose it to some brighter light. Let, let me see. Let me put it up right up to the light here. Right up to the light, and we shall see. Okay, I gave it a little charge there. And no, um, that's disappointing because I did ask for the uh, loomed, fully loomed ceramic insert. Not a huge deal. And you do see a little bit of the loom on the, the date wheel. Not a huge deal, but that's disappointing because that's what I selected. So, you know, bear in mind, there could be some, uh, some issues there. Screwing the crown back down. Let's have a go at this. Ooh. Uh, not too bad, but it really is a good looking watch. And the bracelet was what I was most uh, excited to see here. So the clasp is different than what is on the, uh, the Doxa homage. It appears to be a little bigger, uh, and it does have double pushers, which that one did not. And this has one, two, three, four, six micro adjustments. So they really went above and beyond on that one as well. So, hmm. So the case size is uh, 37 is what they say, but it's 38 with that overhang of the bezel there. Um, let's just zoom in again on that dial. Wow. It is good looking. You can see the anti-reflective coating there on the uh, crystal. Everything's looking good. Uh, and it's supposed to be screw pins on this bracelet. So let's see. Yeah, okay. It does indeed look like screw pins there. All right. No problem. I'm looking forward to getting this sized and put on my wrist. Now, I know a lot of guys complained uh, visually, uh, I guess without seeing it in person, about this being a male uh, protruding end link. So you're going to add a little bit to the lug to lug there. It doesn't look substantial, like maybe probably two millimeters or something you're going to add there. But again, very small watch. I think the lug to lug's 46, so you're, now you're probably looking at a 48. So that yeah, it probably did hurt it slightly, but I don't know. I mean, I think the bracelet looks pretty good. Uh, doesn't appear to taper, or if it does taper, it's just very slightly. Uh, C-Stern logo there. Oh. All right, guys, so that's what it looks like on the bracelet there. Uh, I'm going to go get it sized up if I can, and I'll probably uh, bring some pictures to you on Instagram. But now, uh, one thing I never say in any video, I just do a graphic, is please like and subscribe if you like the content that you're seeing or you want to see a lot of watches. I got a lot of goofy crap in my uh, back catalog there, but I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe if you can find it in your heart to do so, I would absolutely love that. Oh, little sign crown there. And they might, they did get my order wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and size this. I'll insert this video here uh, at the end of it on my seven and a half inch wrist. So you can see what it looks like on the old bracelet. And that is what I have for you today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me.